talking about crocs and stuff. We're talking about crocs and bonnets. Your first impression, and do you wear crocs and bonnets? Your thoughts around that? Okay, I don't wear bonnets, but I do wear crocs sometimes. Grace, first question: Why don't you wear bonnets out? I just don't like the way they look. I think they give me like a house look, like a house made kind of look. So I don't really wear bonnets, but as you can see, I wear headscarves. But I'm trying to move into a different era, you know? So do you think that I should like wipe Crocs out from my whole wardrobe type thing? I would. And before she go on, is there a difference? Like, is this head wrap, is that more elegant? I don't know. <sighs> Context, once again, context. Whenever I see it out and about, it's that's a stank, stanking scarf. It ain't no, uh, yeah. If it's done up, it could be done up, but your outfit got to show. If you got in whatever you got on your head and you got on pajamas and or Crocs, it's funky. I don't care. It could be gold, a gold right. head. The dust I mean, is strong. The dust right. is strong. I mean, you can make it match. You can make, you know, you can have that whole ensemble match and everything else. But if you outside with that and it, and, and that's tiger printed and you got on some uh, other stuff that you would wear around the house in the bed, no, nah, you, you you ain't took a shower all day. Thank you. Thank you. Ain't that's the problem, ladies. Fellas is seeing y'all thinking y'all ain't washed y'all and put no water to y'all flesh. And that's a technical file for the man y'all desire. Y'all... Y'all better take out your notepad. Trying to drop some gems on y'all. Take that stuff off y'all head. St stankin' scarf equates to stankin' rump. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. I would. I mean, I would. Why? Why haven't you done so yet? Um, I don't know. Okay, so I have a son. And I'm always taking him for walks and stuff. So I prefer to just wear, like, I don't even like shoes. So Crocs for me are really comfortable. I have wide feet as well. So I don't know. And I think they're cute. So there was a man who came up here about three guests ago. And he said, yeah. most moms wear Crocs. And yeah. a lot of the guests said, no, they don't. And I think you're the second or third woman who is a mom who said they wear Crocs because it is comfortable. Now, yeah. I understand that you have wide feet, but when you wear a shoe like that, it makes your feet even wider over time. True, true, true. Yeah. True. So we don't have any other shoe options, sneakers for your walk, little um, slip-on uh, sandals for your walk. Why can't we wear anything else other than a croc? I think it's just getting used to it. Like I was thinking about it the other day. I haven't worn jeans in about two years. Like I haven't even worn jeans since before I had my son. So I think once you start living that comfortable, this is easy, this is accessible, it's really hard to kind of shift back into always trying to get on show, especially when like there's a constant man in your life. It's like, I don't feel like I need to impress anyone. I'm just going to the park. I'm just taking my son for a walk. And, you know, they don't really complain. I think my partner has made a couple of comments, like, if we're going shopping, like, are you going to wear that? And then I'll be like, okay, let me change. But, you know, so do you think I should eradicate them from my life? I think you eradicate them, get rid of them, burn them. Mm. Can I ask a really Can quick also question? say this. Yeah. What, you're in a relationship, right? You have a man. Yeah. So... I'm not saying we should do it for a man, right? But you're in a you want to keep things going. You you want him eyes on you. And I'm sure as a woman, you've you've been out with your man. You've seen a girl coming, she's cute. Not saying you're not. Mm -hmm. You've seen her coming and you felt you was looking at him like you better not be looking. You better not even look that way. Mm -hmm. When you know before you left the house, you could have put on something a little bit more pulled together. Mm -hmm. So it starts with doing it for you of course doing it for you do you like what you see when you're looking in the mirror mm -hmm. are you okay with the way things are looking or do you want to make a shift exactly can i just say one thing it's, it's on the topic but it's not about cross can i just so obviously being postpartum and stuff my son is one and like i went i've always been big my whole life but like right before i got pregnant 
I was like my skinny. I got down to like 85 kg. I know that's big for some people, but that was small for me. But after I had the baby, I really, really blew up. And my partner, he gave me time. But now I'm kind of getting the nudge, like, babe, like it's getting out of hand. But I'm genuinely finding it so difficult to get the motiv- motivation to get fit like to lose the weight and I think it's translating into a kind of anger like I'm going through so much every day with this boy and you're telling me to lose weight like oh man here we go the sister it started getting dark she went from talking about wearing crocs with her wide feet now she talking about she blowed out and she said it she said I'm comfortable I got a man I don't feel the need to dress up and do things but now he looking at me like, look, you getting blowed out. You don't, what's going on? Come on. What did I say? Them Crocs, the big folks love them Crocs because they allow a big wide foots to spread out however it need to be. And she appeared talking about she was 80 some kilograms. We don't know what that means, but I guess Google. that's about 200 pounds, a kilogram. Exactly. Of blood. So that's about yeah. over 200 pounds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like 187, but yeah, 200. And she said, here's the kicker. We know a lot of these simping ninjas say you got to be two something to do something, which is wild. <laughs> but she said 200 pounds was her lightest. She said, I got, I was good. At one point, I was 200 pounds. That was light for me. Sure. My goodness. Stop the cap. Yeah. I am I started off saying, you know, Crocs, where, you know, within context, they could work. Now I'm back on the train. I was always on. No, because them Crocs for the big sisters. They don't want to bend down. That's true. They don't want to bend down and tie their shoe. They got too much mass in the way. And they could slip their nasty uh, busted toenails in there too. Tell that part. They ain't taking that foot out that Croc. They typically wear socks. But beneath them socks and them Crocs, them toenails are egregious. Egregious. <laughs> so what's your take on it, Raquel? What would you just hear there? So I think like the audacity of her to get on Ashley Dalton's show with that scarf on the on her head. It's like read the room. This lady is taking the time to talk to you in front of all of her guests. And you remember like on Kevin Samuel's channel, he would say like, are you going to get up here like this? Like, is, is this how you're choosing to present yourself to the world? And sometimes he would be like, look, man, put on a shirt or you need to take that off your head and call back. Like, this is so egregious. Like the act, look at how Ashley is presenting herself. Did you hear she, what she said she though, Raquel? She said, I got a man. I don't feel the need to get, what do you say to women? That's that even do- sadder. Yeah. That's even yeah. sadder. I, I have a, a son. I got up to about 184 when I was pregnant. I'm, I was probably 90 pounds before I got pregnant with my son. It was very, very heavy. I mean, my knees hurt every single day. It took me two years to get that weight off of me. Just, uh, you know, I went from like a double zero to a, a two, you know, um, and it was hard. Like, I, I get it, you know, especially when you're like nesting because you want to keep eating and you just want to cuddle with your baby and you want to catch up on sleep, but you cannot, like your husband is depending on you to mend yourself, to get yourself back to uh, not who the woman you were before. I don't think any man expects you to go back to, or for me to go back to the 90 pounds, but yeah, like you need to work hard to get yourself back together. So I don't agree with that. I think you get comfortable. Maybe you give yourself a year or two, but you get yourself back together for your man, especially him. He should be your top priority of impressing with the bounce back. Not the women. Like I get girls online are like, it's a lot of pressure after you have a baby to get the snatch back. And I I think it's also a a sick and twisted to expect a woman to bounce back after having a baby in like six months. I, I think that's really mean. And that's too lofty. After you've been incubating a child, people are like, it's not 10 months, but if you count 40 weeks, it's about 10 months, you know, it's hard on you. So as long as it took to gain the weight, it should be as long as it takes to lose the weight. I, I agree with that. Anything over that and, and then adding to the pounds, 
is too much. Like you're, you're wrong for that. And when your man starts cheating on you, don't be mad because you open the door for his attraction to be somewhere else. And, and thank you, uh, Rockwell, because that's exactly what Ashley Dalton was saying to this sister. She said, you know, when you out wearing your Crocs and your funky hair scarf, when you walking with your man and another woman is walking in your direction. And I've told this tale. These women get insecure. They're like, you bet not look. You bet not look because I know what you're looking at is presenting much better than what I'm presenting. And, yeah. your, and your lower level going to desire that. So right. just don't look, Ninja. Don't uh, cater to my insecurity and don't look. Ladies, right. the jig is up. Y'all got to stop that. Yeah, that, but you still that, have to understand it doesn't. They, they, mm -hmm. Women need to understand that's the equivalent to a guy <laughs> like, hey, why are you looking at that dude? That's weird. Wait, men just, are going to look. Men are going to look. Right. right? Men are going to look regardless. For sure. So the whole point is he, he's going to look regardless. You're If you see a handsome man out, you're going to look at that handsome man. That's human nature. Right. But an overabundance of looking and an overabundance of paying attention to that person. That's when we have a problem. Right. But then if you know you're not up to par and you're looking like a ragamuffin and you have somebody like me walk by six foot in heels with a short skirt on, you're going to be mad. You're just going to be mad. Right. So Tell you me. should you should put your best foot forward when you walk out the door, especially when you with your man, because you want looks, too. You want him to appreciate what he got as well, right? So you should have the best look when you're walking out the door because you want him to say in his head, I better stay on top of my game too. Just like you should be saying the same thing. I should be on top of my game. Keeping keeping up with yourself, like especially the ladies, you know, I know my fellas tend to be on that game, all right? But ladies, like being getting up and putting something on, even if it's like just uh, some workout gear, but something clean and match look decent. Like that's if we, if you ask me, that's the start of foreplay for the day. Like that's how you start. Nice words, looking decent. Go out a little, grab a little bite to eat. That's foreplay is all day towards the end of the night. That's why you don't, you can't have this whole day full of stanking, funky, you know, Bad, discouraging words, and then nighttime hit, and you talking about what a hit for? That's my, that's my motto. <laughs> that is, that is my complete motto. You hit it on the head with me, Mister Gavin. I mean, Mister Walker. Mm -hmm. The foreplay starts from the beginning, from the minute you walk, wake up to get dressed, put yourself together, put your makeup on, whatever you gonna do to make your best for your foot forward. That foreplay starts from the beginning. You can't cuss me out in the morning because people do this. I'm just giving you an example. People get cussed out in the morning and then you want to come home at five o'clock at night and you want me to throw it up in the air. I ain't doing it because you have ruined the morning. I woke up in the morning feeling sexy, feeling good. You called me the B word. Oh, no. Then you want to come and ask me for some USA. You ain't getting no USA. I'm, all, I'm mad all day. Or... A man wakes up in the morning and say, hey, can I have some sloppy top? You say, hell no, get your ass on to work. I know he mad because he didn't get no sloppy toppy. So don't be mad when he come home and he don't want to be bothered with what you want to be bothered with. See, you have to figure out how to cater to your partner. And the first thing that needs to do is pay attention to them all day and present yourself how you want to be seen as a sexy human being or a desirable partner. Okay. Well put, well put. I know it's wrong for me to be angry, but I don't know why I'm reacting angrily and defensively, like, and I know I need to do it, but it's like I'm stuck in the mud, like, I don't know what, like, do you know what I mean? Are but you I, talking to a therapist? No. Consider that. And maybe just do it for you. Do it for yeah. you. You, are, you guys are going through something right now, no? You a mentioned bit. it. Okay, so is that a part of that him wanting you to change the way you look, or is it over finances, or him wanting him I being on Instagram? What is it? I think it's like, like, babe, I've given you time, but you need to get back to oh, who I meant. As much as I love you, but it's like I still have standards. Do you know what I mean? But so then I, I take that as like a stab in the heart. Like, damn, like you love me, but it's like you want me to be better, but I'm not good enough. So I just can't help but react 
defensively and then I end up just not going and I can just see it getting to a place where it's like maybe I'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger and soon he'll just you know and I, I don't know if other women go for it I don't know like why because I've been to the gym before I've lost the weight before but now that somebody is like supporting me to do it, it now I don't want to do it like I don't want to make the changes I don't want to get rid of my crocs I want to you know look, look how I want to look but it's like am I pushing the man away yeah, I, I guess partially you are pushing him away because he is saying, hey, I'm, I'm giving you grace. Like, mm -hmm. I understand you had the baby, but babe, if you could get back to you, you know, just go to the gym and get back to you. And outside of him, you know, I want you to do it for yourself because she won't. She ain't gonna do nothing for herself. She said, yeah. the more he keep asking me, the more I don't want to do it now. He said, you tell me to take my Crocs off, I ain't taking them off. You tell me I'm getting too big, I'm going to keep getting bigger. Rebels, rebels without a cause or purpose. My goodness. I've, I'm on record saying it too many times. Your mate, your significant other should be your primary motivation. When I was over 280 pounds, I did not, I could not lose weight because I wanted to lose weight for me. I didn't give a dang. I like savory sweet treats. But when I had to realize were how always, were you always heavy or well no that's I, I played sports I was a defensive lineman so I had a lot of oh, I had, you had, I had a fair amount yeah I had a fair amount of muscle mass but I was still I was big I was too mm -hmm. daggone big I ain't playing sports no more okay. and and I and my motivation was my family I, was, I couldn't move yeah there you go I was 280 but I wasn't running sprints I wasn't pushing big jokers around no more so I was just big I'm my my uh what is it? Metabolism low, stamina low. No, I had to get that. Had to get rid of that, and it had nothing to do with me. I saw how it affected my kids. I saw how it affected my wife, and then it was very, very easy to change. But that's why I say, Bon Quisha, she's so she's so selfish. That's why she can't make the positive change. She's like, I ain't doing it for. I like me. I like me the way I am. I'm comfortable. People don't move when they're comfortable, and it's unfortunate. I don't know her boyfriend or baby daddy. But he's most likely an enabler. That's for damn show. Sure. Cause she up here like I don't. He trying to help me, and I don't even want to do it. That's some soft ish right there. So he must not be worth his salt. He might be blowed out himself. Who knows? He popped that baby up in there as HQ. What you got, HQ? As you always say, I would say I would say you better get into the gym, cause you have you have women who who uh, become if your man is halfway decent looking. They're going to be coming for him and he could be as long as long as he's married and they know he's a faithful uh a steadfast man they're going to be coming for him so that should give you motivation enough to get in the gym to do what you got to do just a couple lifestyle changes decide when you're going to eat decide how much you're going to eat and plan that food every day that's it you got they got to be some here we go got to be gratification ladies uh ladies and gentlemen nug nugs and bone quiches i assure you Listen, take the perversion, y'all nasty selves out of it. But fit intimacy beats the hell out of fat, short of breath, nasty old <laughs> physical intimacy, man. I assure you. Wait, wait, hold on. That's a one-way street. And what we learned is Bonquisha said, I can be blowed out. You must be fit. The woman was just on the show the other day, 400 pounds. She said, I need us. She said, I can't do this with another big man, Kendra. I need a slender man. He got to put in work. I'm just laying. Mm. And, and them big sisters, again, will be the first sisters crying and complaining that their men or men can't get them to the, to the big O, to their destination. It's because they got little to no motivation. He just nug nug yeah. come, get his, and he out the door. Now you mad. And, <laughs> and any, any woman, any woman is capable of getting a man. You cannot change your face. All right. You cannot. She can be as ugly as the time Malone. But if you got a gorgeous body, a gorgeous physique, and you're putting in the work to keep it that way, you can get a man too. So that face never changes. It's the body that has to change. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women don't understand. I'm cute in the face, but you fat. No, no, no. You, See that? you, you, the face don't change. It's the body that has to be in line for the attraction to happen and and you just they just nug nugging if they, they just doing what they want to do if you fat right 
like a roller coaster. I'm just gonna ride <laughs> everything. Yeah, they understand something, man. It, it's, it's no secret that a lot, especially melanated men, got an infatuation. You know what I'm saying with with the wiggly jigglies, man. They want to see they want to see that thing reverberate. That's it. It's just all shallow as heck. Ain't got nothing to do with love or commitment. You don't like the way you feel. You don't like the way you look. Mm. Like you're not comfortable in in clothing. Like you you just want to put on the comfortable stuff because yeah. that's easy. You know. Yeah. So people in the comments are saying like, oh, he needs to chill. You had his child. And I see those sentiments a lot. So do you agree that it's like wrong for a man to kind of comment on a woman's postpartum body? Because I part of me is like, it's wrong for you to even check me on this. But at the same time, it's out of love. So I don't know if it's wrong. Like it's, it's right for me to be angry and defensive in that moment. I mean, okay, there's a couple of things, right? Granted, you met him the way you met him. He met you the, ma- the way you met you. Right? And y'all were both a certain way. Mm-hmm. Wait. So you don't want him to gain, I don't know, 200 extra pounds. Mm-hmm. Because that's not who the man you met. However, you did have a baby. So mm-hmm. he has to give you grace. I do understand mm-hmm. that. He mm-hmm. has to give you grace. Which he is saying, babe, I'm giving you grace. I understand you just had the baby. I'm giving you time. But get, I, get up. Go. Get yeah. yourself together. Maybe yeah. he just doesn't see you doing anything. Maybe he I just sees you on the phone. I'm being honest, I'm really not. I was, and he was going with me, and he was amazed, and he was training me. But then I just started being like, I don't want to go. Like, I was putting my foot down, and then I just stopped going. So now I want to get back in, but I'm just like, damn, like, this man's really pressuring me to go to the gym. Like, maybe I I just don't want to be told what to do. I think that's the problem. Maybe that's what it is. But still, even him out the equation, mm-hmm. do you want to just get back to you? Is that important to you? Definitely. Get it, back it, to really you. Is. It really is. But it just feels like I just can't do it. I don't know. It's like once I have, I don't know if you have kids, but once I've completed that whole day of the routine, trying to fit Jim into it, just thinking about it makes me angry. But why not in the morning? When you first get up, you have the energy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you could go on a walk with baby for one Mm -hmm. hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. That's the time Mm -hmm. to do it. I tell you what, we got to take back and put some of this on the man. Like you allow this brother to some degree. That's why we say never let your foot off the pedal. Sometimes y'all want to be coasting and we go. No, no, you always, you all every day. If I mean something, let it be known. The problem is you have you have men who get comfortable with the woman gaining, 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 right? And he see her gaining and he may want to say something, but then he'd be like, it's too late. Now, well, what I, 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 I'm I'm right with you, HQ. Right. I don't think he's saying it's too late, and that ain't. I don't see a man. But no, no, too late for him to say something. Not too uh, late for her. Too I late for him to no. say something because he's already in a relationship. But you immediately, <laughs> immediately, when you see something like that happen, you should be like, "Look, babe, this is how you looked then. Here's a picture of you, babe. I want you to get back to that." We Can you get back to that, huh? He was he was taking her to the gym. We have so many sisters come up here saying that they want a man to help them get motivated. Stop. We're going to make a point here right now. Way too many say, oh, if I get a man, he'll motivate me. Uh, this woman got a whole man. She up here smiling as if she do find a brother at least somewhat desirable. And she like, he was taking me to the gym. He was working me out. And she said at one point, she was like, I'm done with this. Want to know why? Because she looked at him. And she came, she came to the conclusion, you not worth all this sweat and discomfort, Ninja. That's a fact. Mm. If she was looking at a dude and she desired and she was smitten with his with his income, appearance, leadership, all of the above, she would just suck it up because she'd be like, shoot, this is as good as it get. I, I'm smitten with this ninja. But she like, ninja, you gonna take what you can get. And that's that. <laughs> but see, I don't I, I'm one of those people I don't believe in. I don't believe you should do the most. You should be motivated by another person. You should be motivated by yourself. You should be motivated enough to say, hey, I look good this particular way or I feel a certain way. I'm one of those people that love to take stock of how my body feels. I wake up, you know, even when I was younger, I would wake up and say, how does my body feel? Do I have a backache? Do I have a foot ache? Do I have this or that? And then I would take stock 
And then I'd be like, okay, well, maybe I got 10 pounds on me. Let me lose the 10 pounds and then it, it, this will go away or that'll go away. I've always been that kind of person. So, you know, maybe you need to take stock of how your body feels today and see if 10 pounds would make your body feel better. And if that makes your body feel better and that ache or pain goes away, try another 10 pounds Love that. and I see love how that, that, that motivates you. Maybe that'll motivate you to do it. Don't worry about what somebody else says. Take stock of your body every day and say, dang, I wake up with a headache every day. Maybe if I lose five pounds or I wake up with a stitch in my back when I'm washing dishes. Maybe if I lose 10 pounds, the stitch will go away. Boom, boom, boom. And then that's how you that's how you motivate you. I want to see if I can get rid of all these aches. I want to see go. if I can get rid of this arthritis in my leg. You know, you just got to figure out your own motivation because maybe he's not worthy of her motivation. Maybe, maybe he's not motivating her enough. His love is not motivation enough. There you go. Or, so, or I, I'll let you go, Raquel. I was going to say, or maybe he just needs to go find a new woman. Like you can't, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If the horse is deceased, don't keep kicking it. All right. That's what I'm getting at. That ain't his lady. He took her to the gym. That's that's as extreme as it gets for a man to say, look, come on, I'm coming with you going to the gym. I'm going to show you what I know. And you sit there and be like, no, I ain't doing it. That's not your woman. Because I promise you, I'm telling you, if the man she desired was sitting there, the Dwayne the Rock Johnson, if you will, mixed with Idris Alba and Denzel, if that ninja was sitting there, she'd be like, how many push-ups, sir? How many squats? <laughs> They'd be there all day. You, you would think that. You would think that these women, I'm starting to believe they won't do it for anybody. But, but what you got, Raquel? I'm going to let her land the plane. I was going to say, HQ, I had never been big like that before. So I didn't realize that the reason why my knees were so hurting so bad at the at the wash, you know, washing the dishes and washing the bottles was because I was so I was still so heavy and then I breastfed too, you know, so it was just like, I was just engorged everywhere. Right. Um, but I, I think it wasn't like my husband was real harsh with me. Like one day I made a comment, like, um, I'm, you know, I, I said something like I'm back to normal now. And he was like, where? <laughs> and, and I was like, Cause he's kind of like Mr. Gavin, like he doesn't say, a, like he's not just bubbling with things to say, but when he says something, it's kind of like, you know, I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back to normal now. And he was just like, where? And then it, it just was like, you know, I didn't elaborate. I didn't ask him to elaborate, but I just took it like I was too fat. I was too loose, you know? So I just started going uh, walking, you know, with the stroller, you know, more outside and then going back to the gym and like Kegels and just anything that, you know, I was just like in a frenzy trying to figure out like, what is he talking about? That's not the same anymore. So I, I guess, but that is my love for him to want to be what he likes. I think this lady is up here and she's just like, my mentor asked me one time, she was like, is this the hill you want to die on? Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, like, that's such a weird thing to say, you know, like, is this issue that you're having where you want to die? So why does she want to die on the fat hill? Get your butt. It's lazy. You're comfortable. I get it. But your husband, like, he's going to cheat on you. You're not going to. So what that the women in the comment section are agreeing with you and that a man shouldn't pressure you to lose weight. OK, so see how that's going to feel when he leaves you and then he's off to the next skinny woman and you still can't find the man that wants to take you and your son on. You know, so I, I, I don't get her. I think she's just being completely a menace to society, defiant. She's wrong. She's, she's so got to find. She's got to find her own motivation. Mm -hmm. You just when you wake up in the morning and you feel and you just take stock of your body. My knees hurt. My back hurt. How do I get rid of that? And I'm just gonna take five pounds at a time. Five you know pounds. That's it's it. You, I agree with Eric. I love that. It's you said if you got a headache, lose weight. Your knee hurt, lose <laughs> weight. 
you right. know, yeah, whatever going on, you got to test in the morning, lose away. I it's love a, it's it. a trial and error <laughs> thing. It's a trial and everything, error and thing. That's all it is. You you cut out all white stuff. If you don't do nothing else, just cut out all white stuff. If in your mind, when, when you walk up to the plate and you see some white stuff on it, don't eat it. Sugar, bread, potatoes, French fries, rice, bread. rice, rice. <laughs> when you see if it's white, don't eat it. And just focus on not eating those things. Don't worry about the chocolate. Don't worry about eating nothing else. Eat whatever you normally eat. Just don't eat nothing white. And start there from go. there and see what you can lose by not eating anything white. Controlling right. what you eat, controlling your diet. That They mm. say weight loss is 90% diet, 10% workout. Yeah. So not having rice, carbs, cookies, cakes. You know, soda pop to feed our emotions, to comfort us. That's a part of it. So just to summarize, because I want to let someone else come on. It's not, it's not wrong for a man to encourage his woman to get fit again postpartum. It's not wrong. It's not something bad that they're doing. Like, it's okay for them to, like someone said, try Zempic. I tried it. It couldn't, because I have like emotional issues with food. So the example, it, it did not, it could so not. you need to go to therapy. If you have an emotional mm -hmm. issue with food, you need to go to therapy. That's what that mm -hmm. sounds like. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, but the thing is, I don't see it as a bad thing because he said, I'm giving you time. I understand mm -hmm. you had the baby. That's what you're telling me. I'm giving you time, but babe, I want to see you get up. I want to see you work on yourself. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. either two things is going to happen. Either you're going to lose the weight or you're just going to keep gaining weight. Mm -hmm. You get to decide what you want to do for you. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you for changing the topic for me. I really appreciate it. I love everything that you do. You're such an inspiration. Even to the UK girlies and the mothers. I love you so much. Bye, thank beauty. You. Bye, bye. Thank you for coming up. And I, I want to say this again. Like, you know, men are physical beings. I can't say that enough. Men are very physical. And some men are into certain things. Some men like thin women. Some men like curvy women. Some men like plus size women. However he met you, I'm not saying you need to 100% be that perfect person after you have a baby. But it needs to be an important enough to you. It needs to be important to you, of course, first to want to lose the weight and your partner. You need to actively want to work on yourself and be the best version of you. And I get it. You know, to, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of newness with having a baby, right? So you need that time. But I think a year, if, if you know, he's giving you a year, I think that's a good amount of time. I think a year is a good amount of time. 365 days to get back to you, that's enough time. 365 days to be on a treadmill every single day, even if you never lifted a weight, even if you decided to eat broccoli and chicken every day and get on the treadmill for one year straight, you would have lost weight. A lot can happen in one year. You, I remember there was something that went viral. I believe it was the divorce attorney. He's always going viral here on um, TikTok. And he was discussing how in one of his divorces that he had to settle out or whatnot, um, the husband divorced the wife because in their marriage marriage contract, he said she couldn't gain more than 20 pounds. That was a, and she signed up for that. If she's 130 pounds. She could not be 150 or he would divorce her. She signed up for that. That's the life she wanted because he had lots and lots of money. I don't know how much money y'all got. Yeah. I don't know if your man got McDonald's money. Okay. Uh -huh. Y'all do know that y'all do know that uh Kendrick uh that uh Ashley used to be fat, right? Yeah, she lost a ton of weight and yeah. she's also single, which we thought she was married, but oh I did too. I thought she was married too, but she ain't married. Okay. Because uh yeah, there's, there's videos of her being of her being fat. Uh I want I want to say maybe a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. yeah as Good. far as this sits on the screen here, she ain't gonna lose the weight more than likely. Her man probably going to pop another baby up in her before he leaves for good. All right. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Don't let that that seemingly pleasant UK accent fool y'all. That was 100% certified USDA bone quisha right there.
She didn't hear nothing Ashley said. Nothing. Ashley said, get rid of the Crocs, find something different, lose the weight. And y'all saw her. She said, I hear you, Ash. My man take me to the gym, but I put my foot down. I don't want to do it. What's my alternative? What's my alternative to getting rid of my Crocs and losing weight? And Ashley like, shoot, nothing. You're going to lose your man. <laughs> that's, the, that's the bottom line. You're going to you're gonna lose him. Unless he don't care neither. Unless he bigger than you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Unless he, you know, he bigger than you and he don't care. I mean, but he did, you go. Give, he did give you the uh, alter or the uh, the ultimatum. So apparently he does care. So she need to get in that gym pretty quick. Right? Pretty Good quick. Look. That part. 